Hey everybody, it's D over here and I'm about to tell you how you can pass the CISSP. Now let's get to it. A little background about myself. I started doing cybersecurity like five years ago, technically six years ago if you count like an unpaid internship. And the reason why I bring that up is because the CISSP recommends slash requires you to have five years of experience. Um, they say that to get the actual like member cert, but you really don't need five years of experience. You can get less and then apply for the CISSP associate, which is basically the same thing. You still get the cert once you pass, um, but you're just an associate. And I think you pay less and require less information, like less endorsements, but you don't got to worry about that now. You're trying to see how you can pass. So these are the resources I use to help me with the test. So let's get into the books. Destination CISSP is a really good book like i honestly my co-worker told me about that before i even started my boot camp at work um and i i bought that book and i bought the osg book the official study guide book both of them i bought on amazon and honestly destination cissp was good i really liked it i thought they broke things down a lot you know easier than um i guess regular textbooks would Honestly, I'm not going to shit on the OSG book. It's not that I didn't like the OSG book. I just kind of focused so much on Destination CISP. I kind of put OSG back in the wayside. The OSG book I bought came with a package and you'll see it on Amazon. It's probably the first one that pops up, but it came with the book and then with the practice test. The practice tests were really good. They were really on the nose on how like, the test was, but there's an app that pulls a lot of the stuff from the practice test onto the app so i'm gonna get into that app later but i'm just talking about the books right now so destination cissp i recommend you know pete zerger look up pete zerger the last mile he has a book that's really like the destination cissp book it breaks things down simpler it's called the last mile by pete zerger it's an online ebook like ebooks because like you know say you're on a plane say you're somewhere else and you don't want to bring the physical copy you can just read the ebook anywhere i was on a flight right after my boot camp i went to a flight to tokyo and it's like a 14 hour flight and I was literally reading his book on the flight. You know, you can read the regular book on the flight, but who wants to, like, I don't know. I'm not a fan of doing that. So anyway, I was just reading the book and you can do it anywhere. And his book, Pete Zerger's book is cheaper than the Destination CISSP and the OSG book. It's like, I think $10, something like that. So it's really not bad. But um, yeah, so those are the books I recommend. Um, OSG, not really so much the OSG because I just didn't read it. I'm not trying to get on there. I just didn't read it. But um, the practice tests that came along with it were good. But then again, don't really have to buy the practice test because I'm about to get into the apps later. Um, so let's fast forward. Say you're not a big book reader. You don't like reading books. It's not your thing. It's just not for you. And let's talk about the videos. So a lot of the videos I ended up watching were Pete Zerger's videos. Speaking of Pete Zerger. So Pete Zerger has a seven hour video that looks daunting. It's like, why? Like you're going to be like, why am I going to watch a seven hour video? But his video is really great. I think when you're just about to study this cert, look up his video and watch his video. It's really good. I watched his video before I took the test. I watched it before and then the day before the test. And it was really helpful, like really, really helpful. I actually, I saw so many things in the test from that video that ended up helping big time. So watch that video when you're starting this study journey and also watch the video when you're about to take the test, like maybe the day before. Probnair, I'm probably saying his name wrong. I'm gonna link all these people's videos in the description, but um, Probnair's videos were really great. Just look up all his different CISSP videos and you'll get a gist of pretty much the material. Also, um, the Technical Institute of America, they have the 50 hard CISSP questions and they sometimes do random questions as well. His videos were good because he was really harping on the things like a manager aspect of the test. So I really like that. Yeah, and I think that's about it. Those were like the three big videos. Oh yeah, there's also the Why You Will Pass CISSP video. Her video was good by Kelly something. I forgot her name, honestly, but she had a good video. Um, it was kind of short, but it was kind of like a confidence booster video as well as going over Kerberos. So, um, or maybe that's a separate video. But anyway, look up her, Why You Will Pass the CISSP. She'll be the first one that pops up, the white lady with the short hair. She'll be the first one that pops up if you search it. Um, and those are the videos. Now let's get into the apps. Like a lot of the apps help me a lot. Pocket Prep app. So Pocket Prep is really good for like different certs. You can do different types of certs for that, but specifically for CISSP, they have like a cool little um, streak streak um, indicator that shows you how many days you've been going at it. Not only that, it kind of shows hard questions, which is what I really like. Don't focus on things that are too easy for you. Once you stumble go through a hard question, those are the ones to focus on. Um, so pocket prep was really great. Uh, then there's the learn zap app. Look up learn zap, look up learn zap on the, um, on your own phone and you should see CISSP pop up. 
um that was a really great cert and once again i'm also going to drop everything in the description but that was also a really great app to use that app was really good it shows your readiness skills and as i was saying earlier that's the app that pulls questions straight from the practice test that i was talking about from the osg study guide to that app so it's really great it's free too there's a paid premium version but i didn't use that there's no point to really use that because you can get everything for free with the app so that's a really great app to use just for it shows your readiness skills it shows you different types of questions show you kind of simulation type questions and so those are really great so yeah I, in fact i think that's my favorite app but um aside from pocket prep and um learn zap there's also destination cert it's called Desk cert i think but if you look up destination cissp on the app store you'll see it so destination you know has their own cert or their own app and it's really good i thought that app was good it has flashcards it has like a 10 question 20 question um type of quizzes on the platform there's also like um, a glossary section that shows a list of different acronyms as well as um different words that are going to be on the test also meetup that's a good app just to see if people who are local to you or people across the world that you can meet virtually to do study sessions with when i was studying for this test um before i even did the boot camp i jumped into different like meetups talking about the cert we will go through chapters and everything and it's really cool to go through like chapters or study with other people because you kind of i don't know when i'm taking tests i kind of remember conversations that you have in study sessions with other people so it's kind of good to study in groups in that aspect that's the only reason why i bring up meetup because you can meet people study with them maybe they have cool tricks to learn things and you can probably learn from them so meetup app look up to see what's a cissp event near you on meetup it's a really great app the reddit app reddit and i only say reddit because reddit has like a subreddit or a subgroup called cissp and you see different things like people it's pretty much like this video people listing different resources that help them pass and um i really thought it was great i even left my own reddit comment about my experience in passing the test and pretty much what i'm telling you right now um yeah and also with reddit you see success stories you see fail stories I think both of them are equally like, you know, invaluable for you because you see what messed up for people, what worked for people, and I guess get a little bit of insights on how the test would go. So definitely recommend Reddit, definitely recommend Meetup, Pocket Prep, Learns app, and the Death Cert app. There's also additional stuff I recommend, like there's a GitHub link I'll send over in the description. There's also like a door link that kind of goes over. It's kind of like Death Cert with the glossary, it goes over like different terms and acronyms. So I'll put that in the description. Those are extra things that I use. Um, and also just talking about the test itself, like, you know, it's a really, you know, it's, I never took a test that long before, you know, hundred to 150 questions in three hours, but you can definitely do it. Like I was really, I didn't think I could do it. Like, you know, I was saying like, you know, I, I just hit the mark of five years and I'm about to take this test. And I really fully studied only for like two weeks. I had a boot camp. And then after the boot camp, I had to go to Tokyo and, you know, it wasn't, it was a pre-planned trip. So I really had to like, really, you know, study during the plane ride to Tokyo. I studied while I was in Tokyo, which wasn't fun. Studying is never really fun, especially on vacation. So, but it was, you know, it was possible. It was manageable. So when you're, the day you're taking the test and you're in the testing center, be confident before you take your picture, like smile. That's what I did. It's, it might sound crazy, but like, I guess I'm superstitious. I feel like when you smile, you're already kind of foreshadowing your success so you know be confident smile before you take the test that might be a good luck charm and you know don't panic when you see the 150 or the list of questions just focus and you know go go answer the questions the best you know how i i remember i looked at red and the people kept saying when you're doing good it's, it's gonna stop at 100 and i thought mine was gonna stop at 100 because i was feeling pretty confident and then it hit 101 and i was like oh shit so I got to focus. I had like 30 minutes left. So I'm like, okay, I got to focus. And then it cut off like around like 105 or 106 or whatever. So I just say that to tell you, don't panic when it keeps going. Just focus on the questions, answer the most you can. And you know, just be confident. Like I was saying, there, there's two types of mindsets. People always say, think like a manager, but I also think you got to think confident as well. Just think confident when you're taking this test. Don't trip too much. And remember, you're the one, you're the chosen one. So I hope this video is going to help you. I hope it gave you a few resources to look into. Hopefully you pass. Uh, drop in the comment section if you pass. Hopefully this video helped you. And if it doesn't, you know, I'm sorry. But yeah, I know you're going to pass. I believe in you. And good luck. You guys have a good one.